Today, I wanna to make a live split auto splitter for Rich Diamond. Hold on, let's break that down before we go into this. So live split's a tool for speedrunners to track their progress beating a game as fast as possible. You can set up sections in the game to keep track of how fast your times are in specific sections. That's called a split. The auto splitter is a script for live split that looks at a game and automates the process of hitting the split button to signify where the point the split is. It's more accurate and lets the speedrunner focus on the game instead of focusing on when their splits are. And by the way, Rich Diamond is an old PC puzzle game from 1999, so I was hoping the memory layout would be fairly easy to work with. I did this recording live on Twitch, so this video is trying out a format of watching somebody tackle problems in real time. I had never attempted this before recording. Uh, first things first, probably want to make the splits. So I've got, got all the levels here. Um, I wonder if I can just paste this in. That'd be awesome if live splits support. Oh my god, it supports it. That's awesome. All right, this is going to save so much time. Insert a new column, and we'll say concat. Awesome. So this is just going to go right in the split title. That's incredible. Okay, so we got our splits. Um, I want to start working through what the auto splitter docs say. All right, we're going to start with a state descriptor. State process name. So if I open a process, it'll just say rich diamond. So I guess that's the process name. Rich diamond. You know what? Let's get our let's get our level first. So I'm going into cheat engine. I've got my game open. I've opened my process. Yeah, so as I expected, it's probably a string. So look for 71. Got a whole bunch of options. And we'll see if anything carries over. 80 next game there we go all right we found one so i guess the 80 um might be displaying here oh you can't see it let's see yeah 80 is here what if i'm in level one so it goes to one but it's still a string two i'm not sure that's going to be important later okay what happens if i'm on the main menu I'm in level 30, I'm backed out, it's still 30. Oh, let's do a new scan for main menu. So I do get some results, but even when I'm in game, it still says main menu, so don't know how helpful that is. Oh, look at that. It found the level. Now it's conserve. And as I'm moving around. Oh, this is the so this address is the text at the bottom, uh, where it says tutorial one. And it just happened to find no swimming in that, so that was confused. This is what we're looking for, potentially. Yeah, it should say second tutorial. And then I can change it to, I don't know, like 40. Um, all right, let's close the game and reopen. What are the values now? Okay, so that updates. Mm, that's what I was afraid of. So these values don't last across um, saves. Is there a way I can track down where that pointer comes from? So I have this. We're definitely in rich diamond address space. Whether or not I detect based off of the name or the number, I don't really care. The thing is, though, when when I relaunch the game, the pointer is different, or the uh, memory address of the string is different, but I need the pointer to it. We just had find what accesses this address. Oh my gosh. Oh, I clicked on the wrong one. All right, so those are, those are two things that access this address. <laughs> Double click on this entry. You will receive another window with detailed information. This contains very two, two very important informations. The offset, the address to search for, the red text shows the offset and hex, something like this. Uh, I do have that, plus 14C. The second important information is the address we'll search for. The value of the pointer needed to find this address is probably address. Write down the address and you can close this window. The value of the pointer needed to find this address is probably that number. Wow, no wonder I missed it. It's like super tiny. Um, <laughs> it's just like a, like a text element that's like contains very important information. 
What the hell? Wow, Cheat Engine hasn't changed since 2006. That's wild. Okay, step four, searching the address. Now go back to uh, Cheat Engine's main window. And if you get a new scan, you will have the hex checkbox checked. And have Alice set to the probable address source for scan as exact value and type four bytes. Click first. Scan. We got one. Green text means it's a static pointer. All right, I think we're getting somewhere. So pointer. Zero zero four seven C A C eight. Click add address manually. Fourteen C. Aha! I think. No swimming. Is that what I wanted though? I wanted the level number. All right. So now that I, I found it, I think this is a simultaneous pointer of like both pieces of text. Uh, I'm curious to see what the monospace ends up being. So if it's less than 10, it's going to be pushed to the right by one space. How does the level react to that? Yeah, look at that. There's um, So if you look at the level, there's one extra space there. Versus this, there's no space. So the level is like static in the world. Okay, so now we follow the tutorial and have a pointer... Let's see if I can push it up by one smidgen. So push it up one character. Um, it gets rid of the spaces on the sides. I think that's better. It looks like it's 32 characters. Yeah, it's a 32 character string when you cut out that first one. So now the true test is can I close the game, reopen it, and have my pointer be correct? Please, 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 please. Mm, that is not good. Do I need to... Oh, I think I need to open the process again. Okay! Thank God. <laughs> that was a close one. We just had to reopen the uh, process. I can go back to my ASL and try to work on this again. So, state string 32 variable name level colon so the pointer is 0047C, and I think that lives in the correct address space. So that's six digits. This is, yeah, this is actually in Rich Diamond address space, so that's perfect. So we're gonna say Rich Diamond dot exe. The pointer address space, 47CAC8. the offset of 14C. Oh, it's 14D. 14D. Okay, I forgot I changed that. What if I do init and then print level? All right, I wanna see if I can do this and save this. And now let's try to load the ASL. So how do I even do that? Testing your script. You can test your script by adding scriptable auto splitter component to your layout. Edit layout. There we go. Okay. To get the settings of the component, you can double click it. Once you set the path, the script should automatically work. Reading debug output is an integral part. Um, the program debug view can be used for a live debug output. Huh. That's weird. I don't know how to use this program. <laughs> like, what do you want me to do here? Print auto splitter init. And then we'll say, is it start or startup? Startup. Okay. And then I want to do the same thing again. Now there's something here. What is this? The name level does not. What is all this crap about lizard mode? <laughs> what the hell? I think I need to do current. Current dot level. Dude, this debug view thing is 100% required to do this. Cannot perform runtime binding on a null reference ASL line 13 and startup. Bingo! <laughs> that was so awful, man. Oh, that was so bad. I remembered something about the modules. 
Um, see if I can open process again. Yes. So I remembered maybe it wants the address of the thing minus the address of the module. So the module starts at um, 400k hex. And I took out the four. Thought this was wrong again. That was it. That was my problem. So. And now I get no swimming space, 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 one. And I also have the animation speed, so we really don't need the game anymore. Ooh. Well, now the world is my oyster, right? So we're in level one, no swimming, uh, back out. Still no swimming. What if I reset? Level just changes. Oh, what the hell? Why is the level two now? All right, so it was nothing before, now it's this. Cool. And as soon as I go through the gate, or the exit, instantly changes to two. I have no idea how to tell whether I'm on the screen or not, but I think it's fine. As long as I have an expectation that I'm playing on a new profile, so I know I'm gonna hit enter and instantly get to the next one anyway. And also knowing that if I restart, a level as many times as I want, it doesn't matter. So I think now what we do is if current dot level string um, does not equal old dot level string uh, return true. And I think this already works. <laughs> We're there. Whoa, wait. What just happened there? It skipped. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm only going to print if it's different. Okay, so we're gonna try to find out every situation where it changes. Okay, so now I should be able to start it. Old, amazing, current, score. How, what, what are those times? For one one hundredth of a second, the string looked like that. I think I need a way to detect whether the string is correct. Okay, let's see if it happens again. Obviously it's a problem. There it is, okay. So when I shot arrows, it did that. Let's say, if the string has the word SCORE in it, in all caps, discount that change. Current.LevelString.Contains um, SCORE, or old.LevelString contains SCORE. Else, I'm just gonna be lazy for now. I'll fix that up later. All right, does this work? So if I back out, go into a new level, there. That's one of the nice things about like uh, this ASL thing being full C sharp. Like I could just write a string function and just use that and it's fine. And it just compiles. It's pretty crazy. There's my auto split. Uh, let's do a random level. It's not, oh, what was that? Okay, right, so if you do a level that is not the level that's next, it breaks. Um, let's also print uh, old and current here. Wait, how about this, how about this? Okay, we take this and we can clean it up a little by moving it inside. Sometimes randomly this variable gets garbled with Grr. this might be like you know i also just realized uh thinking i had to level 80 what is it gonna do when it's the last level oh there we go okay cool we got our thing so negative 60 negative 14 i think that these four uh box symbols are supposed to be the keys down there well either way uh, it, it managed to filter it out correctly, so I guess that's my auto splitter. Looks like it works. Can't wait to try this out.